So you can see these solar panels behind me. This is, these are the four solar panels, each 210 watts. And I got these maybe like seven years ago, seven, eight years ago, whenever I set up the power system for this house. These panels are not doing anything right now because I don't have the, them hooked up to my power system. I've been looking for a way that I can um, do my power system a little bit differently. Right now I'm hooked into our microgrid called Better, Better Energy for Dancing Rabbit. And uh, anyways, I want to backfeed and I have the wrong inverter. And Hassan from Dancing Rabbit here has recently uh, picked up a bunch of new solar panels and he also got these things called micro inverters that allow you to connect uh, solar panels pretty much directly to the grid without all the expensive equipment. Um, the micro inverter is maybe like $100, $150. Um, sometimes you have one for each solar panel and sometimes you can have one of them and it's maybe $200 and it connects four different panels together. So I'm realizing as I'm researching this that like technology and price of solar, everything has changed so dramatically since I just bought these panels. Like I was calling up the company that makes the micro inverters because I'm having so much trouble finding real good information about how they work. And apparently these panels, because they're six, seven years old, are now obsolete as far as connecting to that technology because these ones will burn out the micro inverters. They need ones that have a different design. These are nominally 12 volt panels and now I don't even know if they're making 12 nom nominally 12 volt panels. These ones, if I could connect them to the micro inverters that are available on the market, uh, they won't even kick on the micro inverter because they, they produce a maximum of 22 volts and these micro inverters don't even turn on until 22 volts. So I'm finding that they're kind of incompatible, which sucks because I was hoping I would be able to just spend a small amount of money to connect, connect these panels directly to the grid. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But as far as you know, the price of solar panels, I did a little bit of research. These ones I got, you know, I said, several years ago now and they were I think about $500 each and that was the cheapest that I could find them at that time and now I looked up some that are similar um, kind of similar like 210 watts is pretty small for wattage for a solar panel and at the time I bought these it was one of the biggest that I could find and now um, a 300 watt panel which has obviously a lot more uh, production capacity and potential and these ones here 300 watt panel from the same place that I bought these ones from is about hundred fifty dollars it's just outrageous the price difference and how much they've come down and you know the the only thing that I can think of <laughs> that's happened in the last seven eight years is uh, government incentives government programs to um, give people rebates and uh, tax breaks if they install these kind of systems and it's not necessarily it's not like the government's subsidizing these industries they're just allowing more people to buy these things so that the price the production you get more economies of scale and so the prices come down dramatically they've also done a lot shipped a lot of the production to places like china where labor costs are super cheap because they have shitty labor conditions which is unfortunate but it's also like you know i i don't know I don't know what to do about it. I'm not sure if I should like, I still want to use these panels, but it means that I have to, you know, invest in a super expensive inverter in order to use them. I'm not crazy about doing that. Uh, I just got something in the mail that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Um, it is a grid tie micro inverter. And although my panels weren't compatible with a lot of the standard micro inverters that hook directly up to solar panels um, i was able to find this one that will probably work with my uh, panel system because it's uh, just determined by the voltage of the panels and not some other factors and it plugs directly into um, the grid so it will allow me to connect my solar panels up there directly to the grid and back feed into the grid. And this is something that I've been wanting to do ever since I got these new batteries. 
Um, but I just didn't have the technical know-how to do it. I didn't know about this option. And it's a fairly new thing that's come about where you can, uh, you don't have to spend a ton of money on buying like an inverter, like an Outback, like the one that I have that's grid tie uh, capable. Like that, getting a replacement for my uh, old Outback non-grid tie inverter would set me back about $1,500. And this uh, micro inverter cost about $100. So it's a huge cost difference. Um, there's a little bit of loss of efficiency because although I'm taking off the grid for my uh, power in my house and then charging up my batteries, um, this will not directly charge my batteries. It will feed into the grid. So I'll have sort of two separate systems, one that goes from my uh, solar panels into the grid and then the other one that takes power off of the grid and, uh, and charges up my batteries that then run my refrigerator and my freezer and then uh, powers the house as well. So uh, it's sort of a, a different way of setting up my system so that I don't have to invest quite so much money in doing it and, um, and this will directly feed into the grid. But today I'm gonna set up this little system here. Hopefully I'm gonna get my solar panels back feeding into the grid. I'm just gonna have to make a few minor modifications to my power system now. Um, I'm going to set up a, a plug here so that I can put the micro inverter in this power space underneath my stairs here. Uh, I'm going to have to set up an outlet and connect it directly into my circuit uh, box there. And then uh, these are the, the lines that come in from the solar panels. And so I'm going to have to uh, connect them to the, uh, the micro inverter. So obviously the first step is to read the user manual, which actually is not very complicated. It's basically just you connect your uh, DC line to the DC posts on the, on the micro inverter, and then you connect uh, the plug into a socket. What could be easier than that? One of the great things about our power co-op is that it's really driven down the costs involved in getting sustainable energy here. So it used to be that you'd have to get batteries, a super expensive inverter, a charge controller, all these components for a power system. And this one set me back like maybe $5,000 originally when I bought it. Right now it costs $1,000 to join the power co-op, the microgrid. And then you don't have to buy the batteries, you don't have to buy any of this stuff, you don't have to have the technical knowledge to set up your own off-grid system. You can just get a connection and, and be up and running with power immediately. So it's made, uh, you know, having power here much less, you don't have to know as much about the technical uh, information, and then you just don't have to make the financial in investment. And so that's made a big difference in people being able to move here and easily get access to power. Uh, one of the problems that it's created is it's changed people's habits as far as what they use uh, and consume in power. Another one of the revolutionary things that Better did was to, uh, to give us that ability uh, to use power throughout the year consistently because when the power was low in the winter time when we used to have to go down to like really limiting our lifestyles and it made it impossible or difficult for people to have like online jobs or other jobs that required the use of power all right so i've got the plug all set up to go i've got my dc connections connected to the inverter here and then we're going to go out and connect the panels so that we're getting DC in and then we're going to plug it in and see how it works. The micro inverter is working and it's kicked on the fan. I came in after maybe 20 minutes of it running and uh, I'm definitely smelling some off gassing. I'm hoping that's just off gassing and it's not some components frying, but the fan has kicked on and you hear it. Definitely 
a lot louder than most of my other power system components, so I might have to get used to it. This is also something that you can easily do at your own house. Like, I feel like these micro inverters have completely revolutionized the way of um, generating renewable power because it used to be that you had to have the technical knowledge, you had to have the like um, money to invest in this huge power system. But you can easily set up a power system and if, you're, if uh, net metering is allowed in your state, you can connect directly for, to the grid and you can be back feeding easily with a very minimal investment compared to what it used to be. So you can back feed, produce your own solar power and reduce your electric bill super easily. So my micro inverter has been running for about three days now and uh, I'm back feeding. I checked my meter yesterday and I had uh, generated about two kilowatts of power. And the last few days I've been running the dehydrator which is about 500 watts. So that's a huge amount of power. Um, so I think as soon as I stop running that, I'm gonna definitely be back feeding a lot more than I'm consuming. So I'm looking forward to that, and it seems to be working fine. The fan kicks on, it gets hot, but uh, it's, it's working. Working really well, and it's super easy to set up. So I've been talking about this uh, super easy system for setting up uh, renewable energy at your house. Um, and I'm wondering who of you out there thinks that you could possibly implement something like this at your house if you don't already have a system in place. Um, does it seem like it's feasible? Does it seem like it would be impossible for you to afford it? Um, if you think about it, 150 bucks for a 300 watt panel, maybe you get like, you know, six or eight of them. And then, uh, and then microinverters to, to handle the power and uh, send it into the, into the grid uh, for maybe a few hundred dollars total. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section and we'll see, uh, we'll see what the potential is of this kind of system out there in your city. Hey, thanks for watching Hardcore Sustainable and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share and give a thumbs up to the video and I'll see you next time.